pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Speaker first, we have a couple guest speakers here. Um, we'll go with Ms. Parker first. All right, thank you. Hey, I just wanted to stop out and give you some calendars and some pens and notepads and wish you a good holiday season and thank you. appreciate the business. Um, clerk. You guys have any questions for me or anything or anything you might have with? Yeah. I'll let you get to work. Thank you. I'm going to back up for a second. We're going to do a roll call. Uh, Dan Van Buren. Here. Jeff Borfetti. Here. Ben Huff. Here. And Jenny Duvall is not. Uh, a couple other guest speakers will move ahead real quick to um, the fire departments. We have to find fire contracts tonight. I think we have a do we have here from Hope Club. Anybody from Hope Club? We have two of the fire departments here tonight. Um, do you guys have any questions, concerns, anything like that? Okay, you got anything, buddy? No. Do you have any questions for me? John, I'll just give you a little, you know, I try to give you guys some updates of you know, what kind of runs you've had. Um, to year to date, uh, as of tonight, we've had 87 runs in our coverage area of Bowling Green. Um, one of the biggest things we've accomplished this year uh, and I hope the residents pass it along. We did start, um, we put one person on, expanded our part-time paid hours from 4 o'clock in the evening till seven, about 10 o'clock at night until our night shift comes on with two people. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, we have um, two guys uh, Monday through Friday at Station 1 from 8 to 4, and then we have two guys at our Franklin Township Station that run all over on Saturday and Sunday from 8 to 4. A few years ago, um, when we took over part of the Bowling Green contract, that money enabled us to go ahead and put a night shift on. And that we have two people on duty from uh, 10 o'clock at night to 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, Sunday night to Thursday night. And the reason that is because on Friday, Saturday, we have more volunteers around during their not having to get to go to work. And then this year, um, because our run numbers um, dictated um, it showed that we weren't getting the trucks out the door fast enough um, because I think everybody appreciates the way the economy is. Uh, we have less and less volunteers that are able to, to hang out at the station or be available. We've got them working two or three jobs. Their wives are working, or the wives and, and the husbands working, depending on what, what sex is on the department. Um, but we come up with the money, um, and not optimal. I don't really like to have only one person at the station. But um, it lets the truck get out the door pretty much immediately. Can get to your house and establish some care. Um, why one or two or some of the volunteers catch up with the squad? And what we do is we go to the scene. So um, with that, um, I thought it was a good investment in our money. Um, we have done that shift. That one person has ran uh, 95 times since the first of, of July. So you can see how many times when we may be delayed getting to your house because the volunteers had to run to the station, or straight up honest with you, we didn't get through. You know, that was our volunteer hour. So we try to spend the money as, as efficiently as we can. So that's just kind of a little thing of what we've done this year. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can ask me or feel free to call me at the firehouse. Contact Ben, he can get your number or if you can't find it in the book. Thank you. Thanks, hey, yes, sir. I'd just like to, you know, thank you guys for everything you're doing there. My name is Dave Skinner. I live up through here. In the last two months, I've had to call you guys out for my younger son. And he's uh, got some medical issues. So I'd like to personally thank you for a good job for getting out there and uh, doing your job there. Well, I appreciate it. I think, I think 
correct me if I'm wrong, I'm probably, you're probably in their territory coverage area. Okay, so well, I want to thank these gentlemen here. Well, we really appreciate it, Chair, and uh, we're thanks, Mike. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Um, with two copies of each contract here tonight. Um, we'll go ahead and sign um, the copies, and then if you guys would just get a cut, one copy back to us. Yes, sir. I know you want to take it to your board. Yes, I'll take it to my trustee. So we'll sign all the copies here tonight, and that way you guys just get it back to us when you can. So, my next um, meeting is the second, so I'll okay. get it signed on the second and get it back to you. The contract's going to read the same as it has in the past. Um, I do believe we'll have a little more money to come in this year if people pay their taxes. Uh, I don't know how much. Jenny didn't get a statement to say how much extra. <laughs> but we give out everything, so um, up to date, she said, I think there were 77 cents left in the account, so we give out everything, so I know. <laughs> um, so it'll be split three ways, but um, I mean, definitely, if you guys have any questions, problems, you guys know, you can call anytime. So. Do these real quick. We also had 87 runs over it went through our seats. Okay. <laughs> Did you? Mm -hmm. Both of them did? How many do you have? I had 87 just in our coverage area, yeah. We're, we're at 878 runs right now with our contract in Franklin, your contract, and then um, Licking Township. We're right about 500. Long. Didn't have some mm -hmm. on. Okay. <laughs> <It's> probably <laughs> by motion. Uh, I'm take the meeting Yeah, okay. I move that we but I, you know, sign speaking the of fire contracts. Of Ted and I'm sure, I, I think all the fire departments work good together. We, you know, um, we don't have any kind of problems. problems. Everybody no, me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's pulling hard on the fire down here. I don't know. We'll do a. Roll call on the motion made. It's motion made to go ahead and sign the fire contracts tonight. Motion was made by Jeff, seconded by Ben. Um, Dan? Yeah. Jeff? Yes. And I vote yes. Six seven. So you can go to him. So I have a question for anybody here? Any, any guys from Fire Department? Okay. Yeah. Do you need to get both of them? Get your copies? Yeah, get both of them. Just get one back up. I don't know, but yeah, last time I talked to him, he was, but that was probably, I don't know, six months ago, maybe. This is for her. Nobody's here, so I'll take them so they get me. Do we have any other guest speakers tonight? 
Tom, do you want to go now or do you want to wait? Oh, I can go now. That's fine. Okay. Um, of course, quite a few guys know me, some of you don't. My name is Sean Holmshire. I've had the house fire on top of the hill. Um, everything's going good. Went for insurance uh, to take care. State fire marshal was in. Of course, I didn't find arson. You know, of course, I didn't. But uh, my dog is fine. But he's my buddy, and everybody knows about my dog. But, uh, so I just want to thank the committee and my neighbors to allow me to have that camper up there for a while until uh, we get started on this insurance. We're at some good numbers and uh, things are looking good, so uh, camper's going to be up there. I, I can't tell you exact time, that how long it's going to be in the driveway, but uh, I'll know more until insurance and maybe I come back down to the next meeting and, and then I'll know more by then. Uh, when uh, all that's going to kick in and get to rebuild it. Um, fire department did an excellent, excellent job. Um, the fire didn't damage the skeleton of the house, so the frame and the structure was so good. So, the, you know, uh, they they did save one door. They like busting the windows out, but they said they saved one door. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, I just want to thank everybody in the old town of Brownsville, you know, uh, uh, putting up with me and, uh, having that camper up there so if there's any questions or concerns if you see both trucks in there you guys are more welcome to stop and ask you know so i just wanted to give you guys a heads up what's going on that's all i got so thank you board do you want to discuss this so the heads up is you have a camper yeah it's a uh, 30 foot and how long is that camper going to be there um, no. that's right that's why they're rebuilding the house okay i know that are you talking Year, two oh, years, no. four years, six no. months. I, I would say probably within six months. As soon as the as soon as we get on, get turned on the insurance. Give you a break. What's the address? Uh, fifteen eight zero two Main Street. They usually give you about a year. I think most of the cars Cars did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Transition. Yeah. It, it should. This is the fourth week, and the insurance called me today. He was supposed to give me a touch at 4:30, but here it is. You know, Thanksgiving week, and I'm sure they ain't gonna get hold of until Monday. That's just what I'm thinking. So. So we're looking at a year, possible. It better not be a year. That's only a year. Six months. And it, it's it's considered a construction trailer, which you're living in during the construction of your home, which. The uh, board needs to approve. They approved it for Mr. Um, Vermillion. <laughs> um, when his home had the same incident. So you might want to ask the board if they would vote to allow you to keep that one year during the construction of your home. And there is no permit fee for that construction building. Okay. Construction trailer. Okay, so you might want to come back and ask them now. Oh, so <laughs> we'll discuss it. Um, you know, I'll go ahead and make a motion that we allow. Sean, what's your last name? Ryan went to school together. Uh, I forget your last name. Tom, Tom sure. Tell it for me. H O M S H P R. I'll make a motion that um, we give Sean up to a year uh, to live in that the temporary. Trailer there while the home is under reconstruction. No, I'll second. Sean, I will get with you, okay? That's fine. I can give my number in case you ever get, get older on me. Seven four zero four eight three seven seven eight eight. <laughs> yeah, it takes more than the winter time to do something. It takes twice as long to do it. Especially now. We'll do a roll call vote. Motion was made um, by Ben to allow Sean to stay in the temporary trailer while the house is under reconstruction for up to a year. Seconded by Dan. We'll do a roll call vote. Dan? Yeah. Jeff? Yes. Ben? Yes. All right, thank you, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. Any other guest speakers? 
Yeah. 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 Uh, the correspondence. Jenny had one thing here. It was um, from Phyllis. It's uh, any changes of address to go into the little township books that we get uh, every year. Oh, okay. Everybody's name and address in it. If, um, if anybody wants to put a change of address, phone number, anything like that in there, uh, you'd let her know. I'll leave this here. So if anybody wants to change anything, sure. please, please note it on there so we can we can change it. Um, that's all the communications I have. That's all she had. <coughs> okay, she got it. All right. The report, safety. I think everything's pretty good on safety. Yeah, yeah. I think everything's got the Ford in good shape. Yeah. The looks made it all. Truck's up and running. Yeah, everything's in. We'll be out there. So ready to go. Very good. good. Fire coming. We already did the contracts. Uh, zoning. Uh, update on uh, the property on Laurel Hill, which the owners are the Wesses. Planning Commission contacted me. The lot split has been approved. Now they have to complete it by contacting their attorney and having the deed written up for those two lots. <clears throat> also, our aerial photos, we're having difficulty getting in the air due to the weather. So we'd like, I would like to know if I can extend it possibly through December. Hopefully not, but my time frame, I'm requesting an extension through December. Did we put a time frame on it? November, you said you wanted it done by November. By the end of November? Yeah, but we don't know if that's going to happen with the weather. Right. I'll make a motion that we extend the time frame uh, for the aerial photos to go another 30 days, so till the end of December. I'll second it. Jeff? No. Ben, yes. All right. Um, on that last split, so everything has been approved for you guys. You need to call. You need One of you need to call yourself because that was inaccurate. You need to call. You need to call the planning or the engineer or the recorder. You need to call them. So it has not been finalized? You just need to call them because she has bad information. You need to call them. Ben, I sent you copies of it. I you just need to call them, but okay. Call them yourself. Planning commission. Well, I'm asking. You, has, is it done? Has it been I'm recorded? not going to say no. You call them. Well, I'm not playing games. We went on with this so long. Is just it done? call them. Her information is not correct. She's saying it's not done. This isn't done. This isn't done. I said it was completed. Okay, that, that, other than that, the drawing. That's what I'm asking. Okay. Well, none of that's correct. Is it complete? Is the lost split complete? I'd say 99.5%. Has it been recorded? Yes, no. Yes. As soon as I get it through the mail. Okay, but so yes, it has been recorded then. Yeah, but okay. I don't know where she got that. It's recorded okay. through, so I can go get a copy of that deed, is what she that's, said. That's what I'm asking. What, what the thank you. Is that, that's that's I'll finished. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You guys doing so great. she's got to go get a copy of our deeds? No, she just said if she wanted to get a copy, she didn't say she Why does she need to? I, I, anybody could so get a copy. She needs to get everybody else's. It's no, called a record. Problem. Yeah. But thank you. If that's finished, thank you. 
I've done everything uh, just under a thousand dollars that you could have to do. Okay. okay. Well, I'm sure Barb will do a follow up to make okay. sure. Everything. Is that correct, Barb? Visual Barb. Bodies. Barb. Yes. Are you going to do a follow up to make sure everything's completed? As soon as the planning commission tells me the deed has been filed, they have one year to file it. All right, thank when you. is the year up? Talk to your planning commission. Yeah. You're, You're supposed to know. I gave you the answer. Okay. I don't think it's today. All right. Is that it under zoning? That is it under zoning. Boards and appeals, comprehensive plan, park committee. I had a couple things handed to me on the park committee here. Um, the rental list and some money that was turned in for the rentals in November. There were five rentals in November. Two of them were free. Um, one of them was $125 and two of them were $25. That's up to date, and then from now on, from today until December 28th, they have book 11 rentals. So it'll be pretty busy in the next 30 days. Uh, states on here, a few things they need. And then also, it says no park committee meeting on the 19th of November because not enough members to have a meeting. Next meeting will be January 21st, 2014. Okay. Any questions or anything like that? Mm -hmm. The part west, uh, while we're talking about that, we ought to go ahead and get a water softener put in there. Sure. We, we, several years ago, we allocated the money yeah. to do it. Yeah. So, do we need to make a motion to just get it done or? We already, I know we already allocated the money. I know we did. Put one in over there, so. You just want like Sears or something like that? So you want to get one like that? I, I, it don't make whatever will do the job. All right. Uh, I know myself was here for the park committee. Dan was here. There was nothing posted on the door. I know that. So I just wanted everybody to be aware of that, that they had canceled the meeting. Uh, I was unaware. We sat down here for mm -hmm. 45 minutes probably, uh, waiting for somebody to show up. Nobody showed up. I never got a phone call. So. I'm pretty disappointed about that, that there was no notifications or anything like that that had been canceled. That makes twice. Probably more than that. All right. But, uh, meeting on 21st, 7 o'clock. January 21st, 2014. Are we going to talk about the park committee? Uh, if you have something that pertains to the park committee, sure. Well, I'm going to tell you what this park committee is a joke. What the day was that? The 21st. We're listening. Usually on Monday, I think, isn't it? Go ahead, Jim. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Every time you guys have a park committee, nobody shows up. They cancel the meetings. They don't do anything. Why do you have a park committee in the first place? They don't do nothing. Nobody takes care of this building over here. They're supposed to clean it every time they use it. They don't do that. It's just aggravating for the township to come in, people come in and have to clean up before we use the place. And it's a joke. They don't, the park committee, the people to the park committee don't do anything for the park. So I, why don't you do away with it? They, you didn't have it years ago. Why you got it now? They don't do anything. I mean, somebody's got to do something. Because this is getting different. Like I say, they don't have enough people coming to the park committee to have a meeting. So why even have them in the first place? Um, I attended an event at the park community building and one of the problems I found was we couldn't use the restroom. That's an issue. 
and nobody notified anyone there was a problem. And if there was a problem with the restrooms, they should have notified the people having the event. And there was quite a few people at the event. I spent half my time working on the commotion here at the work room. Jack and I did. During the event? During the event. This is wrong. Just to have it, just to have it working. I know a law software is, is going to help that. It's going to take time. But just like the inner parts, they're shot because you don't have a lot of software. And plus, it's ridiculous. The yeah, market committee is supposed to take care of this stuff, and they're not doing it because that community building is supposed to be under their control with them. Well, nobody does anything, and you need to address it because it's getting a lot out of hand. We'll look at it. You know, we'll. They had set up some guidelines. I don't have them here with me tonight of what their duties were going to be and, and things like that. So let me look into that. Um, I haven't seen any of the four committee members. I haven't seen the committee I know together for several months. So, yeah. You know. They sit over across the street there and don't do nothing. Our park committee president won't even come over to our meetings. They're here to have anything to do. And then might I add that obviously the park committee president does not keep a very good account because of all the controversy we had with the situation with the new candidates. That we're just going to contain somebody. And all they do is work for you. you got to take care of the place. No, no. All we do is paperwork. <clears throat> Well, I put yeah, a records request for the copy of the we calendar the building. for October. We, you I still have not gotten it. Hey, down. Well, I sent it certified. She signed for it. Uh, first part of November, and I still have gotten nothing. What else you gave you there? Is that, is that yes. other stuff from her, too? Just checks. Stuff for for rental. That's it. But no response back on that. I, I want to add that when that's questioning good people standing in integrity, I think that should be brought immediately to the table. I don't think that's something that should be heard. That because that's that that's that's wrong. And, and I did make a total copy of everything that was put on the volunteer Facebook page about saying the bar didn't even get notified that we were having that event until she saw it on the calendar. And then you know yourself that one of our members called you, and you were the one that talked to Barbara and reserved that building. Right. We had all the dates for that. When I went over and, saw, and talked to Barb, she showed me the calendar. There was no name on that calendar. And then suddenly a name appears on it, and it appears on Facebook. And I have talked to an attorney about the whole situation. That's why I sent things certified mail to prove that I had sent and requested. And I'm not letting this go. You know, our name as a group is put out there that we bumped somebody when we did not. And those records were falsified. Well, she records. wants to go to court and testify. She didn't falsify it. That's fine. We'll push her to I suggest somebody else to take the calendar over. <laughs> she needs to be more than just one person to count. Yeah. 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 <coughs> well, I think we should talk to Barb about it first. I like getting the whole pork committee together and talk what? to them, but... January 21st? Well, they were supposed to be there November 19th, so... <laughs> they were supposed to be there a month before that. If what that records is it that you're wanting? Because Jenny, she turns everything over to Jenny, doesn't she? You requested yeah. a copy of the calendar. Yes, I requested a copy of the calendar. No, I, is that thing working over there now? Yeah. You know, we got to do is get the calendar, make a copy, and give it to her. What do you think? I know there's been some controversy about it. You know, we'll just. Well, look how long it took them to finish. Well, they didn't even finish the. No, thing around the flagpole. That, that should have been done a long time and ago. And I have copies of a blog that they had finished, or that they'd written in that Vicki Ferguson did. Two years ago, they were going to finish that project. 
Then it was going to be done last spring. Then it was going to be done last fall. It's another year. It's taken three years. Why? I mean, hundred brickwood, but we didn't need. No, that should have been done right when the flagpole was put in. Agreed. Agreed. You know, mm -hmm. while you're doing working on the concrete, get it, do it, and be done with it. Well, it's actually too bad. I haven't any of you driven out Laurelville Road, but for Veterans Day on the Facebook page, I posted a picture of a flag that's on my road that is absolutely disgusting because it's ripped that's to shreds. That's my flag. I'm proud of it. I fought for it. Yeah, ripped to shreds does not honor a flag. Climb that is against the ethics. Just climb out there and replace it. You backed up part of the when they had to sell it, but they even rented a 40 pot because they knew that bathroom wouldn't work. Completely used to the 40 pot. I don't know if that's right. It's time to take care of the road place and look better. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
want to get quotes? Do you want quotes on this, or you just want me to handle it? Just get it done. Put a time on next week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the motion was made by Ben to appoint Jeff in charge of installing the new water softener community building not to exceed a thousand dollars. Seconded by Dan. Roll call. Dan. Yeah. Jeff. Yes. Ben. Yes. I'm also going to buy the new parts for the toilet too, but we don't want to put them in until after we fix the problem. You're going to have to fix it. Oh, that right. before you fix the water flow yeah. because it ain't working. It ain't working. You got it's going to have to get one in. have to spend money. It don't cost that much. For no, uh, them anymore. things ain't that expensive. You say it's not working. It's not functioning at all. No, uh -uh, it's yeah. not working right. Okay. Uh, now, uh, as far as uh, if it's purchased at Sear, our account is at Lowe's, so I'm sure they sell. Lowe's sell water softeners too. So. Okay, if they sell water softeners, Lowe's would be fine too. You're not concerned about quotes. You just go with that. Just, no, see no, just do it. Because you spend a week just going around trying to get quotes. If you buy a Connecticut or something like that, they're like 3000 so we're not going to go that route. I know that. Um, back to the poll committee. Do we want to set up a meeting to meet with them? Yeah, I'd say we'll set up a meeting. Uh, uh, See what Let's do one. We're going to have to set a yearly record in the 10th meeting. Let's do one on uh, December 10th. It's a Tuesday. Okay. 8 a.m.? Yeah, that'd right. be fine. 8 a.m. in the evening? Yep. 8 a.m. Yeah. 8 a.m. Yeah. in the morning. 8 in the morning. Uh, in, the in the morning? So we can do, we'll do dual purpose meeting. We have to do a record meeting. We can do a records meeting at eight, and then we can do the pork community meeting at nine if you want. In the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what I'm thinking is some of the for the park committee probably be better in the evening. I'll call and wake you up, Dan. Well, no, it, it, it's not for me. Just maybe they're working or whatever. As reason why it might be better if it's in the evening. I don't think anymore. I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to attend that meeting? I'm asking you guys. Anybody in here want to attend that meeting? I would like to attend. Would I you? can't in the morning. Would that have a morning or evening meeting? Evening. Evening would be better, I would think. Yeah. Just make it 8 o'clock at evening. Yeah. We'll do it 8 in the evening. What if we did it uh, next monthly meeting and just did it before this meeting? So that like... Uh, Six o'clock or something. Just do it on the same night as a monthly meeting. We could do that. Be more apt to be able to get people to cut, to be able to come. That worked. Mm -hmm. Guys, all right with that? Yeah. When's your monthly meeting? Last <coughs> last Tuesday of the month. It'll be the twenty fourth of December. No, it'll be the thirty first. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Right. New Year's Eve. <laughs> New Year's Eve. Yeah. Do you want to reschedule a monthly meeting no, a, have, week, yeah, a week we'll in talk, advance? No, we'll talk about that. I have that one in. No, I did too. Because then it would fall on the 24th. But we'll, we'll come back to that. So let's, did you want to make a motion to do it the, the an hour before the regular meeting next month? Is it going to be on the 24th? No, we'll do it on the, no. We'd rather do it, on, I think I'd rather do a meeting on the 31st instead of Christmas Eve. Yeah. Okay. yeah. No, it doesn't. Okay, whatever you want to do. All right. Well, I'll make a motion that uh, we're going to have a special meeting with um, the members of the park committee uh, on December 31st. It's the same night as our regular business meeting. We're going to leave our, our no, regular meeting the same night. Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll hold the park committee meeting at 6. You know, there's nobody going to come to this New Year's Eve. Um, New Year's Eve doesn't start until five minutes before midnight. Come on. Unless no, we change the meeting to Monday or something. You start the meeting at noon that day. Yeah, that would be a day early. That's not a good day to have. That would avoid it being a holiday. I'll be here tomorrow. I'll bring the forward. Is that what you want to do, man? You want to do it on 
I'd rather just keep it on the 31st. On Tuesday. Yeah, that'd be fine. Right. Well, I made a motion to have a special public committee meeting on December 31st at 6 p.m. And we'll have Jenny notify all of the members on the park committee to be here. That'll work. You want a second? I'll second it. <laughs> Do a roll call. Dan? Yeah. Jeff? Sure, yes. Ben? Yes. Everybody mark it in the calendars, please attend. <coughs> so we don't need to take any action on the regular meeting that we would like it what it was. <laughs> anything else on the park committee? Did anybody else have anything park related, community building related, nothing like that? Unfinished business. Uh, the trash is on here. I don't have any updates. The last time I talked to Amy, she had sent a letter. It came back to her as a non-address she was working on finding an address a correct address to send a certified letter That's the last update that i have from her any other unfinished business Dan? Nothing. jeff do you have anything no new business um We stated that we're going to keep the meeting the same in December the 31st, 7 o'clock, for the regular business meeting. Um, we need to hold a yearly records retention meeting. I'm going to make a motion that we have a our yearly records retention meeting on December 10th at 8 a.m. That meeting's for you and Jane, basically. <coughs> Just find out if she can come. Yeah. Well, I want to make sure the board's okay with that in case anybody else would like to attend. Have you already talked to her? You know? Yes, she said that would be fine. All right. Did you move the motion, her? I did. Second it. Do you second it? Um, I'll do a roll call vote on having the record retention meeting December 10th at 8 a.m. Dan? Yeah. Jeff? Yes. Ben? Yes. Uh, any other new business? No. Nope. Anything else? Nothing else? Make sure we got everything here. <coughs> well, I guess back to unfinished business. Did you have a copy of that stuff that I requested from you from last meeting? I already gave it to you. I didn't get the one copy here. Did you all get that thing working too? The other night I didn't, uh, last, there was a email that I was going to get a copy of. Did you all get it working at the, after the meeting because I came back down and didn't get it. Did you leave that copy of that stuff when you came back down? Yeah. Because it wasn't here. At this point, you're going to need to contact uh, Janine Margie at the co-op if you want anything, because I don't have any more copies. I'll contact Amy and she'll contact you. Margie. Her name's Margie at the co-op. Yep. So you don't have a copy of it, is what you're saying? I've left it for you twice now. You have not left it I don't it, have any more copies. Have you seen anything in here, Dan? Mm -hmm. Have you guys seen any paperwork at the, in here? At the meeting that I didn't attend, I came down and I made sure that each and every one of you had copies, and you guys actually signed it check to reimburse me for the copies. I requested a copy from you last meeting for the, well, actually it wasn't even for this meeting, it was a sufficient amount of time, which would be seven to ten business days. So you don't I've have a copy for me. I've got nothing more to say on the matter, Ben. Okay. Well, I just want to make sure everybody's aware of that. I'll be contacting Amy about that, that I would like to have a copy of that from Jeff. And so is, it, got is the machine working? Because I still would like what machine to machine you speak of. The printer? The printer, yeah. After the meeting, I was supposed to get a copy of an email that was a legal correspondence to the zoning inspector. I'm not aware of it working or not. I, I do not know. Okay, it was at the last meeting. She had it, and I had it in my hand at one point. I guess. I do not know that. But if you don't have a copy for me, and you're not going to get a copy for me, then we'll find another avenue. So. 
He probably charges for it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right. If we don't have anything else on new business, we'll move on to public comments. Me can go first. Unfinished business. Oh. Okay. You kind of skipped, a, or not I mean, excuse me, new business. How did we do new business? Go ahead. If we have okay. new business. Um, our friends would like to request the use of the community building for uh, that last Monday for 2014. The friends of Bowling Township? Yes. And we would like to start maybe doing fundraisers so that we can um, purchase the signs that we have discussed for the entrance to Bowling Green Township. You want to request the building just for the, the Monday before yeah. the meeting, just next yeah. month? And, well, and then depending on if we have a fundraising dinner or something like that, if we have a special occasion, <clears throat> which we are kind of discussing, and we would bring that to you next week. That's the spaghetti dinner? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you want to do? It's not just next month. No, no, for, two, for 2014. Right. Yeah. You want to do every 2014 every month. Yes. Jeff, problems with it, anything like that? This is the same night you had these last three months? Same. Yes. If you guys do like a like a fundraiser, would you know like a month in advance? Oh yeah, we would know a couple months in advance. So you could bring it to the meeting and let us know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, the advertisement, newspapers, yeah. everything, let me know so we can have loads of fun out and, and we do want to give the funds to Jenny, in a, you know, so she can set up an account uh, where the money would specifically go for our project. Right. If you guys, have, all right, raise that money. We need to make a motion. Do you have any problems with it? No, I don't have no problem. Well, I'll make. Are you going to make a motion? I'll make a motion. You've done one that Monday. Every every month, month. Yeah. So the year 2014. What, the third Monday? Mm. Monday before Last Monday. Yeah. Last Monday. Last Monday before the trustee meeting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that Okay. Last Monday before council. We have it also for December, then, if it's not rented on that Monday. That's cool. Which usually on the Mondays are never rented. All right. So you made a motion, Dan. <coughs> I don't want to order what's that, yeah. What's that date? Because there are a bunch in December. It would be the 30th if we have our meeting the 31st. Right, yeah. It's it's not not right. To allow the Friends of Bowling Green Township to use the building on Mondays before the meeting for 2014. Is that, is that booked? No. For, no. Okay. No. Got a time on that, too. On the motion. You guys always have a meeting at six thirty. Six thirty? Alright. Okay. Alright. Well I'll second the motion. Do a roll call, Dan? Yeah. Jeff? Yes. Ben? Yes. If you guys are going to do like a fundraising event or something, it's going to benefit the township just let us know, know the meeting before. Yeah, and we'll work definitely. Out. So, <coughs> definitely. Any other new business? What about these Christmas bazaars and stuff they have over here with this mess they got? Who gets any money for that? Is the township getting money for the heat, electric, and stuff, or what? The rental was free, I know that. Is that what says that on here? I, honestly, I didn't take part in, in booking that. I don't know if there was any kind of fees for vendors to set up or anything like that. Well, it should be. It's a prop. It's, 
that are making a profit. No, no. I, I can vouch for one, absolutely no profit whatsoever. It was to build a church. Now, I can tell you that it was to build a church. Oh, they didn't here. get no money. <coughs> you're talking about over here? Over there at that building, yeah, the Christmas right. Bazaar. Right. All that money that the people that I knew was to build a church. Every, everything was donated that was on the tables, and it was to build the church at Hopewell. Right. Why does Hopewell bring everything up here to this? Why don't they do it down there? I live in this township. I go to church there. I don't know if we really had a say in the, in the election. God don't have no township. Okay. <laughs> God don't have a town. Of course, he, he, he don't, don't have nothing. All right, come on. All right. But I don't know that answer to that, Jack. I don't know if they took any. any I don't know. We well, can they pay the township, but they pay the church over here in the summertime, $15 to $20. I, I don't know. We can, we can ask the park committee um, when we have that meeting. When they have their meeting. That's and over here, they turn the electric and gas on, and I don't think they pay nothing. Once a year is the only time I've ever seen the people I know there once a year. Over here. The people I know that was right. there from Hopewell Church oh, okay. was one time a year. Right. We can ask them that at uh, that board committee meeting. Yeah. Any other new business? You know yes, sir, I do. What, what do you know? Well, if I say anything, somebody's going to get mad. Okay, you don't need them. No, no, nobody, get nobody's going to get mad. We're listening. Nobody's going to get mad. No? Mm -hmm. right. uh, he's talking about the members of the church. All right. so I think what good. church? Hope All right, well, we're going to move on to the <coughs> public comment. Yeah. Can I go first? Go ahead, Dave. Can I come up front here so I can get back and see me? I'm scared. Wish you'd wash No, I know. I should have <laughs> As a recorder, one so I can be heard again. That one there. Yep. Okay. Uh, my name's Dave Skinner, and uh, recently, uh, during the election, I had a sign in front of my house. And there was a grammar, there was an apostrophe S put in front of the S, okay? And uh, this was up there for two months and maybe two weeks before the election. It, Jeff Corpenny put on the internet my name that I was an illiterate. That's I would not, like for you to define what the word illiterate means. That's not accurate. You're saying that I've done something that I... <coughs> No, it's not accurate. You, what's not accurate about it? It was on there, put on there by you. I hope this camcorder is on because I want this camcorder too. So you ain't going to answer, uh, define illiterate? I already told you I didn't, I didn't call anyone illiterate. So. Well, I want you to know, I went to school to my senior year and quit. Later on, I got my GED, I attended MATC, well, I was on the dean's list, and I want you to know an illiterate is someone that can't read or write. I can read and I can write. So, you know, that was very, very rude for you. I mean, so I'm... Say, you're saying that I did that and I didn't, Dave. I well, didn't, I'm going to keep, keep continue there, and then you can uh, re, uh, address me. Okay, I've I, already said all I need to say, Dave. Because you, you ain't got nothing else to say about it because you know you're wrong. And I want this one recorded because this is really rude. I tell you, I've worked my whole life. I can't work no more because I'm disabled. I've got medical issues. And, and if, if someone call, if, if I see someone illiterate that can't read or write or can't do nothing, I'm going to come to that person and try to help them. I'm not going to rescue them on the Internet and put them down. I think that is very, very wrong with you, Jeff. It's been very, very wrong. So I hope, I hope you put what I'm saying on the internet without editing it, what I said. Because what I'm saying, you did, is absolutely wrong. What was your point of doing this? I had a sign, Ben Huff, Dan Van Burn. I felt those were the best candidates, and I voted for them. It took you two months, or someone you know two months, that notice that there's an S, a comma in front of that S. And you took pictures of it and put it on there. I think that is very wrong. Very wrong for a trustee that's supposed to be behind the residents and people to call them an illiterate and put it on the internet. That's all I've got to say, Ben. Ben, Jeff. 
Me at Walter's auction of right. taking your stuff. See? We're not going to pick on okay, each other. Okay, but he did. We're not going to pick on each other. Yeah. All right. Okay, same thing. Do we have any other public comment tonight? Oh, I'll make a motion pay bill. <laughs> come on, well, I just I want to say thank congratulations, you. Dan and Ben. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Jeff. You got so a contract. Bob says a contract. Bob, it wasn't yeah. that way. I'll tell you my yeah. side. You said, are you, 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 you're bothering my stuff. <laughs> Was the second made on the bills? Yep. Yeah. All right. Does anybody know about the telephone for the voting inspector? <clears throat> I look at you guys. I thought that was unfinished business. Right. I thought you were going to get a price on it. No. The last meeting, two meetings ago, the mm -hmm. lady that was sitting here told you about the price, the minutes, the so, somebody was going to everything price. on it. Was going and to then price. the next meeting, we asked you about it, and you said, I have to check into it. And somebody said they would get a price, to print off on which price it was. It wasn't me who said that. You said you were going okay. to check well, into it. Well, I apologize if it wasn't you. Yeah, you said you were going to check into it. We forgive you. Uh, no, we forgive you. Ben, you did you did not say you would yeah, check into it. You were waiting for the response oh, I did see that. Yes, from I the that. Okay. resident that brought it up. All right. No other public comment. No, we already moved to pay bills. Dan made motion to pay bills. I second. Okay. Hey Dave, don't feel like I'm gonna ring you. He called me a liar. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I agree. He's the one that's got the same as mine. He's gonna be Yeah, I'm 
just spread flowers, so it's supposed to be surprised. Ohio Public Entity Consortium, uh, $258.30. Four $41.98, Napa Auto Parts, paint for plow. Four three three four fifty seven dollars twenty nine cents. Hey. Industrial steel supply. Metal for plow. Four three three four fifty seven dollars twenty nine cents. Metal for plow. Four three three four fifty seven dollars twenty nine cents. Metal for plow. Is that what the paint is for? Yep. Fixed and painted. So we got an account with this company. Mm -hmm. Figure the township can at least pay for the steel. Forty-three thirty. Jack Richard Hedges. One thirty-seven eighty-two.